all, I am Dr. Radhika Goel, Assistant Professor in the Anil Group of Colleges on the behalf of Guru Kip. Today, I am giving you a lecture on continuity of functions in real analysis. Continuity. Continuity is very, very important topic in the calculus or you can say that continuity is core branch of the calculus. Uh, continuity is opposite of discrete. Now we will discuss about what do we mean by continuity. So I am giving you two types of definitions. One is graphical definition and second one is mathematical definition. Now come to graphical definition. What do you mean by continuity? You know that when you draw a function graphically, then there are two types of graph. One is if you can draw a graph of a function without lifting your pen. And second one, if you can draw your graph of function without lifting your pen. First one. Is called continuity because when you draw a graph without lifting your pen means you can draw it continuously without any break. As it name show continuity. So first one is called continuous function and second one is called discontinuous function. And the point where we lift our pen is called point of discontinuity. For example, let us take function y is equal to x. When you draw this graph then you can draw it like this. That means you can draw it without lifting your pen. That means this graph is continuous graph. But now come to this example. Y is equals to 2 when x is greater than 1 and y is equals to 3 when x is less than equals to 1. Let's draw this graph. First one we draw like this and at x equals to 1. x equals to 1 your y value is 3. So you have to lift your pen and then go continuously. That means this is of second type of graph. So this is not continuous graph and the point x equals to 1 where we lift our pen is called point of discontinuity. Now come to your mathematical definition. Let f be a real value function and c be any element in the domain of f then f is called continuous at the point c f. First limit x and x to c f is exist. Limit exist means left hand limit and right hand limit at the point C should be equal. Now what do you mean by left hand limit and right hand limit? So left hand limit means when we approach our point C from left hand side then that type of limit is called left hand limit and when we approach our point from right hand side then that limit is called right hand limit. And second condition says that limit x and x to C fx should be equal to f of C. Means limit value of the function at the point x equals to c should be equal to the value of the function at the point c. If both two conditions are satisfied at the point c, then we say that our function is continuous at the point c. And we say that our function is continuous throughout our domain if your function is continuous at all points of your domain. Let us take example. when x is not equal to 2 and f x equals to 0 when x equals to 2. Let us draw this. When your function is equal to 2, then your f x is 0, that means this point. And when x is not equal to t, that means other than 2, all at all points your function value is 2. That means this x happening, this point x equals to 2. Mathematical definition says that first condition is its limit exists. That means left hand limit and right hand limit should be equal. At x equals to 2, its right hand limit is 2 because x is not equals to 2, your function value is 2. And its right hand limit, that means when you approach from right hand side, it is again 2. So your first condition is true. That means your limit of the function at x equals to c exists. Now come to your second condition. Your second condition says that limit value of the function at x equals to c should be equal to the value of the function at that point. Our point is 2. We know that your limit value at the point x equals to 2 is 2. Now, at x equals to 2, your function value is 0. That means second condition is not hold. So, we can say that your function, this is not continuous at x equals to 2. So here x equals to 2 is your point of discontinuity. You can understand it with the help of graphical method also. When you draw this, 
this is all continuous that means we have and at this point you have to lift your pen come to this point and again you have to lift your pen come to this point and then continuously that means you have to lift your pen that means second category function is discontinued and the point of this curve is x equals to 2 now come to this example in this example we want to find out point of discontinuities. When we come from this to this, this is our continuous part. At this point, at x equals to minus 1, your value is this. But when x value is greater than minus 1, then you have to lift your print from this point to this point. That means this is point of discontinuity. So discontinuity at x equals to 1. After that, we go continuously, then continuously. At this point, again we have to lift our pen. So this is again point of discontinuity at x equals to 1 with the help of graphical definition. Now, mathematical definition at x equals to minus 1. At x equals to minus 1, left hand limit. What is left hand limit? Left hand limit is 2.5. Right hand limit. Right hand limit is 1. That means at x equals to minus 1. Right hand limit and left hand limit are not equal. That means at the point x equals to minus 1, function is not continuous. Now at x equals to 1. At x equals to 1, you can see that limit value of the function left hand limit is 1, right hand limit is 1. That means first condition is 4. Now come to second condition. Second condition says that value of the function at the point x equals to minus x equals to 1 should be equal to the limit value of the function at x equals to 1, right? At x equals to 1, your function value is 1.5. But we know that at x equals to 1, your limit value is 0.5. That means second condition is not good. That means x equals to 1 is the main point of this quantity. So by the help of these two definitions, you can check your continuity or discontinuity and you can find your point of this quantity. Thank you for listening me and for further details, please log on to www.blue.com.